That's what the bus driver union president told me today. He says four of their drivers have confirmed cases, and now those drivers who are still working may just have to keep driving by these bus stops because of that new 10 person rule. Chris Loudon says her daily bus rides have grown recently. It's been a problem. As soon as it went free, it's like everybody decided to ride. Great and wonderful. Some of us have to go out. That crowd during a pandemic, the reason why starting Thursday, MCTS buses will only be allowed to have 10 people on at a time. It's changed and it's going to continue to change. But what uh, I can say for sure is every decision is always going to be prioritizing uh, health and safety first. Although the president of the bus drivers union wishes county and MCTS officials had made the call sooner. Do you think this is overdue? This is way overdue. You know, the problem is, is people out here that's just riding around, don't have nowhere to go. And it's affecting the people that really have to go somewhere. Riders I talked to split on the concern that MCTS drivers might start passing them because their bus is too full. I see the point of it. I just I think that's going to make it kind of harder for people to travel because it still is essential workers out here that need to go to work and rely on public transportation. So I don't I don't know how that's going to work. Certain sacrifices are having to be made and if it's for safety, yeah. Caroline, what about the effect of, on ridership of all this? Has it increased? So officials said at first at the start of this pandemic, it was down, but they saw an increase once they stopped charging for rides. They're once again telling people to only use the bus if it's an essential trip. And Joyce, just to be clear, that is 10 passengers allowed on the bus now, plus the driver.